Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make your own water kefir at home. Hi guys, it's me again, Regina from Life of Pinay Mother with Foreigner Husband. So, first of all, I'm gonna say thank you to Mommy Jing or Mommy Claire from Lapu Lapu. She's the one who encouraged us to make this kefir i'm sorry to my husband my husband did it did this before like maybe three years ago yeah three years ago he's making kefir but i'm not really drinking it uh i i don't know if i tried it but this time i'm really gonna do this for us and for our kids especially matthew who has autism so thank you for i uh, know thank you to mommy josie because I got this kefir from kefir grain from her. So, <clears throat> kefir health benefits fights cancer, supports detoxification, boosts immunity, builds bone density, heals IBS and IBD, allergies and asthmas, improves lactose intolerance. The water kefir promotes healthy gut. Aids weight loss, boss immunity, combats infection, lower risk of diabetes. Today we're gonna make our kefir at home. So I'm gonna teach you, this is my first time to make it, except my husband who made it before. I'm gonna teach you how to make your own kefir at home. So first I'm gonna make the water kefir only because I don't have coconut water uh, at the moment. So first what we're gonna need to do or what we need is the bottle. We don't need or we, we're not going to use the metal because the kefir are uh, so um, sensitive in the metal. So we're going to use plastic bottles, not the plastic or bottles, not the uh, metals. So we also need a strainer. So as you can see, my husband has stuff already that he's been using. So I'm going to use it now. So this one is a plastic strainer, a container, plastic container with water because we need to wash the kefir grain and every time we uh, start a fermentation. We also need a water. This is filtered water. We're not going to use the chlorinated because it's not good for the grains. Also, we need a cup, one cup for um, measuring the water and also a tablespoon, measure, measuring spoon and muscovado, especially muscovado because this is their food. If you have cocoa sugar, it is also better. So first, we're gonna wash our uh, kefir grain. So, so we're gonna wash our kefir grain. I'm just gonna wash all of it because I want to use all of them. So I'm gonna put the butter in the Moscovado mixture here because we need to dissolve the sugar and then strain it afterwards. So, in every two tablespoons of kefir, we're gonna use two cups of water. Two, three, four. In every two cups, we need four tablespoons of Moscovado. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need eight tablespoons because we have four uh, cups. By the way, we also need a spoon, plastic spoon or wooden spoon to um, stir the mixture, the muscovado and water. Just stir it until the muscovado dissolve. Bring it until the the muscovado is dissolved. I think the muscovado is dissolved. Now we're gonna strain it. We 
have our um, sugar or muscovado and water mixture. So now we're gonna put it in the bottle. So. There. And now we need our kefir grain. It's two tablespoons each. One. So here it is, guys. We're gonna cover this with paper towel, cloth, or cloth, and put rubber band on it. And just put it in your uh, shelf or counter. So we're just gonna set it for uh, 48 hours. So today, guys, we're done with our gift. We're, we're done making it. So we're gonna set it in the counter for 48 hours. And then I'm gonna let you know again uh, the next couple of days what is the result of So welcome back guys. It's been uh, 48 hours since we made our uh, first batch of uh, kefir. So today we're gonna separate the we're gonna harvest. So this is the that's their term harvest. So we have this um, pitcher which is glass and also our um, kefir with the grains. So how we're gonna harvest it? So as you can see from two tablespoon uh, the other day now it's double the size or uh, maybe yeah it's double the size so we put it in the container here so it smells like alcohol <laughs> fermented alcohol so we're done with the uh, straining our or harvest, harvesting our kefir. Now we're going to the second fermentation, which is we put it in a container or in a glass bowl, uh, jar, and then we can put uh, fruits that you like for it. Uh, I'm gonna do because I have four all in all. I add on the other day so I can use my grain. So I got four or eight cups all in all. So I'm gonna make different kinds of uh, flavoring. So I'm gonna use the lemon, the mango, apple and ginger so we're just gonna slice it guys into small pieces so uh, the flavorings will go through so I'm done guys so my first flavor is um, just lemon I slice it also I'm gonna make a lemon ginger this is the ginger I'm also gonna make a uh, lemon and this is apple also just the mango so oh gosh so i already had the lemon and this one is lemon ginger so so we're going to put the mango with the apple and lemon no so there it is 